use my power to help you. Stalker. Stalker.
change. I gotta think the puppets will have changed too, right? There's only one way to find out. Let's go backstage. I'm glad you're safe. I was so scared I would lose my precious son. It's risky for me just being out here. Fortunately, you didn't need my help. I'm so proud that I got to see my son defeat the king. Hopefully the lesser puppets will die down soon. Now that the king is dead, the puppets have no leader, no direction. But the curse of the petrification disease still lingers. It's tough, but I know where you should go now. The Grand Exhibition. Rumors say the alchemists there have developed a cure. As a man of invention, I'm skeptical of the alchemists, both their science and their motives. But they may be the city's last hope. Won't you help me, son? Take this. You'll find it most useful. If it will help Antonia and the others, it's worth exploring. Go to the Grand Exhibition and see what you can find. <laughs> that one puppet could control so many others. That's a memorable feat indeed. Unlike a real king, the puppet left no heir. The remaining puppets are leaderless, and we can reclaim the city. But it's still a city beset by the petrification disease. Seek a cure from the alchemists at the Grand Exhibition.
Antonia's condition is getting worse. I knew it would come to this. The petrification disease locks people inside a cage, inside their own bodies. We're all safe, thanks to her sacrifice. But I wish for a miracle to save everyone. Me as well. I'll use my power to help you. I heard you defeated the King of Puppets. Amazing. Ah, the Puppets appear lost without their leader. They have no purpose, no focus. To think one can have so much control through ergo waves. If we don't determine who or what is causing it, this could all happen again tomorrow. I fear I must call upon you again, my friend. Please gather records of the puppets' ergo waves while you're defeating them. I always welcome friends. No trouble at all. I almost consider it my oldest hobby. Trust me, I won't let you down. There we are. A deciphered cipher just like... Well, just like I used to make. If you ever need me to help you decode another message, I'm at your service. Of Benini, even priceless thing. Master Benini carefully curated this collection box himself. With it, you have returned to us. The House of Benini always keeps a few special items in the private. At the House of Benini. you come closer won't you when you reach a certain age it's a comfort to reflect on old memories that's a portrait of me when i was young <laughs> i was so feisty so fierce back then i loved the world and the world loved me back the passion of those days is long gone but I still dream of those memories. I'm curious what your young eyes see. Is there any resemblance between me and that portrait? Do I still have any questions? No. <laughs> it seems Geppetto even taught you good manners. Yes, those Beautiful memories are still vivid in my mind. Time. Time and the memories that fill it are all we have. I hope you're making some good memories of your own. 
may be a comfort to you someday. A great weapon. Welcome, good sir. At last, we speak frankly, instead of with professional reserve. I have something to confess. Something involving your unique perspective. I am a puppet whose ego has awoken. I don't know exactly why, and we need not dwell on the details. Instead, I wish to dwell on the welfare of Lady Antonia. I adore Lady Antonia. It is a presumptuous feeling for a puppet to have, to be sure. I have no intention of putting myself forward, of course. However, I cannot watch her die. It's too painful. Thus, I need your unique perspective. You exist somewhere between human and puppet. Can a puppet and a human fall in love? Have you ever met a puppet who loves a human? Oh. Yes. Of course. It is a truth I already knew. Perhaps what I really wanted to hear was a sweet lie. Thank you for clarity. For opening my eyes. Nevertheless, I know that the love I feel for Lady Antonia is real. I shall retire now. Thank you for favoring me with the truth. However harsh. No matter what fate brings us, I will be at Lady Antonia's side, serving her. Welcome to Hotel... you're here my son have you seen that painting i can't believe my eyes it's almost as if something is growing out of the portrait i remember commissioning that piece from an artist named d gray like all artists he was eccentric he claimed that a painting could harbor a living soul but how can that happen just like the fairy tale. Forgive a foolish man his ramblings. Perhaps the seed of its growth was there all along. I know you're curious, so see for yourself. I have my work to keep me busy. <laughs> <laughs> 